Let's say that one day, the world was spontaneously repopulated with dinosaurs from the Cretaceous period. Never mind how. Maybe timelines collided in some black hole experiment. Maybe we managed to clone them and they escaped. Maybe they never went extinct to begin with. How would this affect humans in their day-to-day -day lives? How would the dinosaurs do in our modern world? Let's break it down, piece by piece. Join my Dino Nerds Discord server to discuss what you learn in this video, post your art, and be around like-minded people. Also, join my public dinosaur Minecraft server to interact with the community and see what life with dinosaurs is like for yourself. For more information, check out the description of this video. My first concern is regarding the safety of people in this new world. A lot will need to change in our society to adapt to these animals, which we've never had to evolve to compete with. Obviously, this de-extinction event reintroduced a lot of new formidable species. Tyrannosaurs, Dromaeosaurs, Hadrosaurs, Sauropods, Ceratopsians, Carcharodontosaurids, Ablosaurs, Ankylosaurs, the list goes on. Basically, every species of dinosaur poses some security threat to humans, whether they eat your dog, smash your car, or hunt you down on your hike in the national forest. The first thing we will need to do is establish a strong animal control unit specializing in dinosaur capture and relocation. Operating in reinforced vehicles and helicopters with infrared cameras, they will need to be armed with high-caliber lethal weapons as well as strong tranquilizers, and their operatives will need to have extensive training with weapons handling, animal behavior, and tracking. Dangerous animals will be killed, and non-dangerous ones will be relocated. These government entities in charge of defending the public will need to be assigned to populated regions and will constantly monitor dinosaur populations, especially herd patterns, to avoid catastrophic encroachment into human areas. Just imagine a stampeding herd of Triceratops down a city block. Another measure to protect cities will be huge walls as preventing animals from getting in to prevent this very problem. Speakers transmitting specific frequencies or animal sounds may deter dinosaurs as well. Third world countries that cannot afford proper defenses against threatening dinosaur species may be profoundly affected by rogue dinosaurs. Traffic between cities might become awful if dinosaurs use roads as migration routes. Damage to infrastructure will be extensive, and motorists might have an additional variable to consider, herd movement patterns. Imagine an app that tracks where huge populations of dinosaurs move so you can plan a route that specifically avoids them. The reintroduction of dinosaurs won't just affect people, however. Ecosystems will be completely and irreversibly altered. Dinosaurs of all shapes and sizes will quickly take over ecological niches previously occupied by existing animals. Think about how much damage pythons in the Everglades did, then multiply it exponentially to consider the impact of dinosaurs. Herbivores will migrate to highly vegetated areas. The Great Plains of the United States, the African Savanna, the Eastern Steppe, and the Amazon are all ideal. Farms will be leveled. Sauropods will flock to national parks with ample tree coverage, and following all of these animals will be a slew of predators. Giant predators like Tyrannosaurus will avoid areas populated by humans in favor of finding enough food to live. Smaller predators like raptors will completely decimate populations of deer, sheep, and virtually all other extant megafaunas. Hungry predators that cannot find enough food in their habitats will encroach into human territory, hunting pets, livestock, and possibly even people. Some species may die out depending on the availability of food. I believe the smaller dinosaurs will thrive, preying on rodents, birds, and other common animals. The smallest dinosaurs may thrive in cities full of birds, rats, and pets. The larger dinosaurs will remain in the wild. Speaking of dinosaurs in the cities, how would dinosaurs interact with humans on a closer level? There would be high potential to use dinosaurs as a resource. Rich farms could farm hadrosaurs to provide a new delicacy to the world, so long as they could keep them fed. Dinosaurs could be used as work animals in poorer countries, lugging around cargo. After a few generations of selective breeding, more docile dinosaurs could become pets, especially small ones like Comsognathus and maybe even Psittacosaurus. This is definitely something I would do. Imagine having a fuzzy little Sinusaurus on your shoulder. Zoos may take in some dinosaurs as main attractions, while other zoos might open up that specialize in dinosaurs alone. I can easily see domesticated dinosaurs becoming integrated in society as pets and as farm and work animals. Maybe raptors could become canine units? Just imagine sticking one of those on a fleeing criminal. With that in mind, how would dinosaurs affect the economy? Thousands of new jobs would be created for many different purposes. Dinosaur control rangers to wrangle dinosaurs and keep the public safe. Dinosaur farmers, veterinarians specializing in dinosaurs for zoos and pets. Dinosaur trackers, dinosaur dealers, the list goes on. Poaching will become commonplace, though maybe hunting them wouldn't even be considered illegal. Dinosaur bones would be used as a new material, novel for their large size but lightweight and porous nature. Imagine a dinosaur claw or tooth necklace. If anything, the economy could benefit from dinosaurs as an entirely new resource. So what would the fate of these new dinosaurs be? I believe that many extremely specialized dinosaurs might struggle to adapt in such a new environment, and food and land will be much more scarce with the additional variable of humanity. I think smaller animals that can live closer to people would thrive, like raptors and comsognathids. They would replace niches that former extant species lived in, and the world's ecology would completely shift to a dinosaur-dominated Earth once again. Of course, there would be many interest groups at play. There'd be a group of people advocating for their destruction, a group who believes that we should just leave them alone and let nature do its work, and a group that believes we should actively protect them. Personally, I would side with the second group. Earth is an incredible place, and it always finds balance in chaos. 
As always, thank you for watching. Remember to keep an open mind, and I'll see you next time.